My name is Dr. Monique Anderson Starks. I'm a cardiologist at the Duke University School of Medicine in the Duke Clinical Research Institute. So we conducted a large observational analysis to determine the whether the racial composition of blacks living in a neighborhood is associated with both treatments and outcomes of out-of-hospital cardiac arrest. Bystander treatments included CPR, or chest compressions, bystander defibrillation, and we also examined emergency medical services response times and treatments. Out-of-hospital cardiac arrest is common and occurs in 350,000 Americans every year. Survival rates are low and variable and stand at 8 to 10 percent overall in the United States. We also know that blacks have a higher rate of cardiac arrest compared with whites. Based on prior research here at the DCRI, we know that communities, that black communities have lower uh, CPR training opportunities and is associated with lower bystander CPR. Our study was a large uh, out-of-hospital cardiac arrest registry called the Resuscitation Outcomes Consortium. The registry collects data in eight U.S. sites and three Canadian sites. Restricting the cohort to the American sites, we use census data to determine the percentage of blacks living in each neighborhood. Our study included 23,000 patients from 2,500 neighborhoods across the United States. We then, we then grouped uh, our neighborhoods in four buckets, ranging from 0% blacks living in the neighborhood to 100% blacks neighborhoods. So with 25% increments, communities were categorized as primarily white communities, to mixed neighborhoods, uh, to um, predominantly black neighborhoods, which is greater than 75%. We then assessed uh, survival to discharge for out-of-hospital cardiac arrest patients. Our study had three main findings. First, as the percentage of black residents in a neighborhood increased, the use of bystander CPR and defibrillation decreased. Second, as the percent of black residents in a neighborhood increased, survival significantly decreased. Third, within each neighborhood, black and white out-of-hospital cardiac arrest patients had similar survival. Reasons for these findings are likely related to a general lack of awareness of cardiac arrest, lack of CPR training, and lack of AED availability. Our study had several limitations. First, it's an observational study and cannot prove causation. Second, there may be unmeasured confounders uh, that contribute to our, our associated findings. Thirdly, and most importantly, we know that geography is associated with uh, treatments and survival of out-of-hospital cardiac arrest. Our analysis was a neighborhood analysis. It's very hard to tease apart what part of our association was actually due to the percent of minorities living in the area versus the neighborhood in and of itself. Mixed to predominantly black neighborhoods have lower bystander CPR and defibrillation and lower survival. It is important to direct resources to these communities to improve both treatments and survival. These should include telephone-assisted CPR, mandated high school CPR training, culturally tailored and inexpensive mass community training, as well as general AED availability and education on where they are located.